thinking. I was putting my thinking cap on. I was putting my creative director cap on. And I have created the perfect eyeshadow palette. Sorry, there's always people walking around. So if you've been on Twitter recently, you'll see that Anastasia Beverly Hills and Norvina have recently launched their Sultry Eyeshadow Palette, which is like their holiday collection. And there's been a lot of debate and debacle around this eyeshadow palette. Some people hate it, some people love it. And I just really realized that it's hard to launch a product as a brand because your consumer base is so different. It's hard to please everybody, so what better way to please yourself than create your own eyeshadow palette? That's what I wanted to do today. I'm just creating this palette digitally. I haven't decided whether I want to like actually find these colors and create a physical eyeshadow palette yet, but this is my version of like the perfect eyeshadow palette. This is what I would pitch to a brand if I was doing a collaboration. <laughs> speak it into existence. So the first color that I chose was Brilliant White and yes this is the Pantone name for this color. To me it looks like a blue white. It looks like it has cool tones in it and I just thought like keep it icy because I'm icy. He doesn't want to fight me. Like it's very icy, very perfect for like fall going into winter. Of course it's a shimmer so you can use it as an inner corner highlight, you can use it as a brow wall highlight. Like girl it's all inside. It's perfect. The next color that I chose was Empire Yellow, which is a satin finish. Satin finishes are easy to work with, so like this color could be easily a transition color. Of course you need a yellow, like you're creating a fall palette, duh. Like leaves turn yellow, orange, and red. Like you need a yellow, girl. Um, the next color is Russet Orange. Obviously, orange is another staple when you're talking fall colors. It's a matte shade. That just makes sense to me. Like, an orange matte shade in a fall palette just makes sense to me. The next color is that pop pop color. That pop pop color, and it is fuchsia purple. It's basically like a richer version of a hot pink, and it's a matte color. If you haven't seen my previous video, y'all can look there. I've really been feeling like the monochromatic eye look and hot pink. Is all the rage right now. Like if you haven't been paying attention girl, so many of you have been doing hot pink eye looks and it is like so beautiful and I think it's so different for fall but it's definitely a staple so it's going in my eyeshadow palette. The next color is Martini Olive and it's a shimmer. Again, olive shimmers have been very hot recently as well. Like I know Desi and Katie have a olive color in their, um, in their palette that's coming out. Um, I also own a couple of olive shimmers. I just feel like it's perfect for fall as well. It's just like very different. It has personality. It's a great lid shade when you want to just do like two colors and keep it moving. And I would pair that with the next shade which is Meerkat which is a satin. A nice like almost terracotta brown. Um, very warm will pair very well with the Martini Olive shade and it is a satin as well so it's very blendable. An easy simple transition color, a go-to transition color and that is like my color story for the first row. Moving right along we have Almond Buff which is a satin shade. I wanted to include a transition color for like if I were to sell this palette you know the light skin girls the more pale girls need a little transition shade too. So that is why I included all my buff. The next color is Limelight and it's a shimmer color. If Trophy Wife by Fenty Beauty had a baby sister, it would be Limelight. Like it's a very, it's a fashion statement, can be used as a highlighter. And if you use it as a highlighter, you best believe you're going to be noticed as soon as you walk into the room. But it can also be used like as a lid color. I just think that there was a very fun thing to play around with. Um, next color is Melon and it is Satin. A marriage between an orange and a red color and I wanted something that was warm and rich because it can be used as a blush. This would be the perfect blush for fall. Like could you imagine girl? Next color is Crocious Petal. I'm not sure if I'm correcting. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I, I'm sorry in advance. But it looks like a lavender color and it's a shimmer. Of course, we had to pay homage to the Pantone color of the year, which is ultraviolet. So I feel like a derivation of ultraviolet would be like a lavender color. This purple would be perfect as a pop fun color for fall. Next color is Red Pear. It is a matte color. It's the perfect burgundy maroon shade. Again, a staple a staple for a fall palette and um, of course it's matte because you can work with it you can do so many cut creases with this you could do a sunset eye look with the previous colors and just use this to like, deepen it up like beautiful i already see the looks and last but not least is blackberry wine it is a matte color it's a very deep purple sorry this man is walking past 
can be used to smoke out any eye look. I didn't want to go too dark. I didn't want to do black just because I felt like the purple just encompassed everything in this palette so well. We already have like a lilac lavender color. We have like an orange. We have a pink. We have a burgundy. And this wine color just brought everything together. Like that is my fall palette, y'all. We have four shimmers, four satins, satins. We have four shimmers, four satins, and four matte colors. I already see so many eye looks with this palette y'all that's what i was thinking about when i was choosing these colors i think it's a beautiful color story if you look at it there's a beautiful gradient in the top and the bottom rows but also if you look vertical each color is like a variation of the color above it i'm actually a genius like call me norvina jr i'm ready to get in somebody's lab and create palettes let me know what y'all think about my eyeshadow palette i think it's perfect personally you know yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.